Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we have a treat in store. We do? A day date. Oh yeah. We are going to take care of the animals this morning, but we are headed off the farm. It looks like we might get some rain today. Fingers crossed we need rain so the garden will grow. And we're gonna head off the farm. Also, today's video is sponsored by June's Journey. So stick around and find out about this new cool game. But you know what I like to do, Cassie? What? Look for things. Oh yeah? Because you lose them and I know right where they're at. So I have to tell you, but you look first before you ask me. No truer words have ever been spoken. <laughs> I lose things all the time. But I like to look for cool old things like antiques. Oh, okay. And since uh, Cassie's days off are Mondays and Wednesdays, and yard sales are usually on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, in Locust Grove, the best yard sale day is a Thursday. But that still doesn't help you. That still doesn't help me and Cassie going together for you guys. So we're going to head over to our local antique mall strip. There's like a, <laughs> there's like 10 of them. Town. Yeah. At Shoto, Oklahoma, right off Highway 69. A lot of you may have been through there. And we're going to look for some antiques. Let's see who can find the best one. All right. Let's see. So before we can go and have fun, all the animals have to get taken care of. So Olive and Dot have their feed. They're doing awesome, and the little lambs love the alfalfa. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a milk mustache, only an alfalfa mustache. Woo! An alfalfa, alfalfa mask. An alfalfa mask, yeah. And then they are doing great with their little creep feeder. Yes, oh, all. Hazel's, Hazel's tail fell off. There's only one left with a tail. We made it to our first stop. Walker Farm Fam at Junk and Disorderly. You like that name? I mean, jump. That's what I need. Well, you got the disorderly part down too. So, oh, my bad. I like that truck though. It's not an antique. Do you know what every country person really needs? What? To go to sleep at night? What? An old fan. Oh, yeah? Now, those are pretty cool. I thought you were going to say an old pan. Oh, that's what I might get hit with. Yeah, I don't need that. Oh, 150. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if I need to sleep that bad. Let's check this one out down here, though. All right, Cassie. If people like finding stuff like this, old stuff, unique items, I've got the game for them. You want them to see it? Yeah. All right, let's show them right now. You can see that Cassie and I love searching for the perfect item for our home. A couple of the things we've already found are this butter churn and this antique coffee grind. We love old items. We love finding that perfect thing for our house and bringing it home. So if you like looking for items like this, I think we have the perfect game for you. It's a game called June's Journey. It allows you to go on a hidden object mystery hunt. You find these hidden objects and you solve a crime at the same time. Let's check it out. June's Journey will take you through a thrilling murder mystery story. It allows you to be the detective, find hidden objects, and enjoy the glamour of the 1920s. What I really like about June's Journey is it allows you time to unwind, relax, and just enjoy the search for all the different items, just like we're doing today at the Antique Mall. Also, June's Journey is completely free to download, so you can get it now, start finding objects, and working your way to solving the murder mystery right now. We want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring this video and giving us an opportunity to tell all of you about an awesome game that will bring you right back to the Roaring Twenties. So if you're ready to get started, select the link down in my description. You'll download it for free on Android, iOS, and it's also available for PC through Facebook games. A little bit of cookware. Hey, it looks like we could use that to shovel grain. Antique brass ice scoop. That's cool. Probably could get a different grain scoop though for that price. $75 grain scoop. There's no gas blow torch. What else? Ransom some more shepherd canes. Oh, Ransom. Or just real canes. I, I think those are just canes. Ransom's looking for a shepherd cane. Okay, so for this one, I will give them the best name. 
That's that they win that competition for sure. Uh, these are I think to pick up ice old ice blocks, ice tongs. All right, stop number two. Maybe this will have more antiques, not nice things. Yeah, so we were talking that was um, a few antiques, but it's like a uh, not a boutique, but more craft. Yeah, craft and fancy kind of stuff. So maybe this one will have a little more just old school treasures. antiques treasures. Let's look. Today you get to decide, are you going to be Team Ford or Team Chevy? Leave it down in the comments. Hey, Cassie, you said you wanted new bar stools for catching up with the walkers. That would look better. Huh? That would look better, but not for 45 bucks. Hang on, let's set in it, let's see. I don't know. Are they? They are. They actually look pretty nice too. And they're only forty-five dollars each, which I can do three-hour segments in this one. Uh oh, you guys want Cassie for <laughs> drinking coffee for three hours? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like those. I'm kind of digging them. How about the bottom? How does it look? They're, they're. Um, they got plastic things on them. They're rust, rustic iron. Uh, probably not necessarily antiques, but they do look good. Yeah. Alright, let's keep shopping. We'll see. We might come back to it. Just to get golf balls? Uh, ball carrier. No, I think it's too big for golf balls. Oh, to pick them up? It is too big though. They'd fall through. Yeah, they would fall through. Maybe tennis? I don't know. Oh, yeah, tennis. Tennis ball carrier? That's sold. You came too late, Cassie. Is that a blanket holder or sawhorse? Yeah, I'm already, already can tell this place is going to have some pretty good stuff. Oh no, that one's pretty cool. So you found you a knife? I mean, I said it's for Ranger, but that's my excuse. <laughs> okay, so Cassie probably been around. Now that I'm into the John Deere world, I automatically get my eye caught by this John Deere stuff. Um, it's eight bucks for a little marker. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I would use it for, but hmm, looks pretty cool. Hey, you like these dolls up here? No. <laughs> that? No. <laughs> oh, there's just so much stuff. I thought Ransom would like that, but it's wooden on the end. It's like spear. Okay. Johnny Cash. 1969 Johnny Cash. Life magazine originally sold for 40 cents. 10 bucks? That's not that's not terrible. Kinda like that Johnny Cash magazine. I'm always dressed in black. Well, I always wear dark colors on my back. Black is for the poor and beaten down. It's from our childhood. Oh man. $5. Nothing like Sesame Street. Watching a little Sesame Street while Grandma made macaroni and cheese. <laughs> that, you like some antique perfume? That was a life. That's a home fragrance diffuser. Oh my bad. Get it right. You got a VHS for it? Hey, hey. What? I found the thing for YouTubers. All right. Every YouTuber is going to have to look at this, he says. You're going to be the. YouTubers with the most advanced equipment. Over the neck, cell Teals, phone holder. Hands free. 
come on now. <laughs> Swivels. Perfect. I love it. Wait, wait. Five dollars. It can be yours because I ain't buying it. No, it's Kobe Bryant. Ranger. It's not signed though. Matt would like that. They need to be an autograph. Oh, there's a legend, Dale Earnhardt. So if you're a big Pepsi fan, they have this old cooler. It's got the bottle opener built in. And uh, Cassie found something she's gonna wear for Halloween. <laughs> Tulsa County Jail. <laughs> That's where Cassie would land. <laughs> she goes up and tries to live on Tulsa time. She ends up in the slammer. I do want to find another sign sometime, but I don't think this is the one I want. But that's a big one, and it's only seventy-five dollars. I think signs are expensive. There you go, junk in the nine one eight. Vintage level, missing one metal strip. Hey. What what racket are you making over here? I think I found my item. 18 foot log chain. You never have too many log chains. And a bucket for free. Look at that. All for 20 bucks. Better get it. So the bucket alone would be $4 at Atwoods. Let alone, let alone a nice big heavy log chain. Boom. I, might, I found my item for sure. So when you find one item in the booth, you got to look around for more because it means these people might be right up your alley. I like that oil can. How many oil cans do I need? You have some? I think I have two. Oh. I probably don't need any more. Oh, look at this. You know what that is? A uh, frog gigger? Yep, frog gig. Just gotta put you a pole. Oh, it's a pretty sharp. I know, it's a good one. Go gigging frogs. Cassie loves frog legs. Hey. What? My kind of shopping is you walk and you look. Oh. Not stay in one spot. Sorry, I found a booth I like. Okay, well, I, I gotta check it out. Move on. I think I found my favorite thing about set in every one of them. about this place. Rest station number thirty-one, oh, Cassie. Look, I'm number uh, if you need me, send the search crew to rest station number thirty-one. And I like it because I can sit down and still look at stuff. I had a comment, but I better keep it to myself. Unless it's a nice comment, you should keep it to yourself. Look at this. Oh, yeah? We need to take the kids over here sometime. Cool. They would, and give them twenty dollars yeah. and say, "Here's your budget." This is really cool. Yeah, that is cool. Thank you to the veterans. We always thank the veterans, don't we, Cassie? Oh yeah. You want to give them a thank you right now? Thank you, veterans. So, if I had the place for this, I really like these old uh, pulley wheels. They just look cool. I wonder how old it is. So we're winding down because it's getting time for lunch. Oh my goodness. All right. But look at this. This is a cool clock. Drink Ward's Orange Crush. Also Lemon Lime Crush. Have you ever heard of Ward's soda? I haven't, but I'm sure some of you guys have. I do like some old clocks. We're at. I recently got a big stop sign, just almost like that. Fifty bucks. That's about right. I feel like this should be behind something if it's that expensive. How much? Five forty-nine Dean Model EKOA Electric Acoustic Guitar. It's pretty. It's in tune. 
Hang on. I need a pick. Keep walking before Cassie says. I don't know. I found my thing. She needs a guitar. You found a thing. I like how it feels. Oh, well, you found a knife. That's for your son. Oh. <laughs> That's your excuse to get two things. <laughs> oh man, That's what I deal with. It does look nice. Better than the one I got. So we might need to get some uh, extra hummingbird feeders for all that hummingbird feed I'm mixing up I now. Ain't, I ain't even stepping back in that. Hey, I've got the recipe. One cup of sugar, four cups of water. That's my recipe, okay? Oh my, look at this. What'd you find? An iCarly guitar. Oh man. <laughs> Mazzy's like missing a string. Forty nine ninety five. I don't think that's an antique, but that is uh, something Mazzy would give for. My Carly's old. Yeah, like oh, ten boxing years. There's vinyl. All right, we did some willing and dilling. What do we end up with? Two new chairs for catching up with the walkers. We are at, uh, the name recently changed to the Oklahoma Peddlers Mall. You can find them on Facebook, they said. Uh, but it's like endless, endless, endless stuff to look at. It was uh, probably the biggest one here on Highway 69 in Shoto. Yeah, and it's right across um, from a place called Brewer Construction. So this, he said the sign's not right. They're, they're updating their sign and they're yep. new owners. So, But we got these. Gary got his chain. I found I got a knife for Ranger that you push a button and it flips out. That Cassie um, really, really liked. Yeah. Uh, so he doesn't know that, and I don't know when we'll give it to him, but he's going to have to earn it. And the backs of these are cast iron. So that was one of the reasons that we thought these were really And these are extra long. Like, cool. All the way to here. Those other stools hit me here, and it starts hurting. We can go all day. Cassie's, Cassie's I'm ready. Interview people from the parking lot. Cassie's ready to catch up with the walkers now. Look at that. All Walk right. On. But first things first, lunch. I'm hungry. We gotta go find something to eat. So we'll get these loaded up and uh, we're having a good day on our antique on antique find. Day date. Alright, it wouldn't be a date without what? Food? Yeah, you gotta eat. So Cassie has gotta go to school in just a minute, but we're gonna try to Scarf this food down before she can go check on her bees. You got an update on the bees? They better be gone. Hopefully they're gone, but she's going to go check it out. There's somebody there today doing some work. So we'll see. So we made it back home, back in our comfy chairs. It's going to be a long one. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the ending, Cassie. We're, oh. we're not starting over from the beginning or anything. Oh, okay. So we did have a full day though. Cassie made it back to school. You want to give us a quick update on the bees? They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're removed. Yep. A bee person came, you said they vacuumed them? Yes. Instead of pushing them out, they pulled them in? Yeah, they had to vacuum. They had to take the wall down, apart, and they vacuumed them out. All right, so no more bees. Hopefully they don't come back. And we didn't mention this earlier, but if you do go to Shoto, the place we were at, there I counted at least five more on my way out of town. Oh, at least. So there were probably five more on the other side of town. So you could go spend all day long in Shoto. Um, we had Mexican food, but there's also a place called Amish Cheese House 
that has really good sandwiches, soups, ice cream, and there's a buffet, all goods. buffet style called Dutch Pantry. Mm -hmm. Then there's a couple diners and pizza place. So if you're interested a in loves. doing your very <laughs> own antiquing, your very own shopping, check out um, Shoto, Oklahoma, not far from our house. Maybe they're coming to the Oki Homesteading Expo. Yeah, that'd be a, another fun thing to do while you're here. So the the biggest one where we found the most things, which we didn't get to go to very many because we ran out of time, but was called Oklahoma Peddler's Mall. Um, right now the sign still says like Cherry Market or something like that, but the ownership I guess have changed. So Oklahoma Peddler's Mall, and they had lots of stuff. That's where these chairs came from. Got Ranger a knife, and you got a log chain. A log chain and a five gallon bucket, all for 20 bucks. Can't be beat. <laughs> so I think that's all we have though for you tonight. We just finally got settled though in our new chairs. Cassie said our next catching up with the walkers when we sit down for coffee is gonna be two hours. So easy. You just, <laughs> you just, I know you can't wait for that. Um, also remember any prayer requests that you have, leave those down in the comments. Do you have anything specific at this moment? Uh, I've just been getting some different uh, messages and emails from people. And um, don't know that I have permission to share all those things, but know that we are praying and we would just ask that you would pray along with us for um, just some unspoken prayer request needs from some of you guys. Yeah. And if you are interested, you saw this earlier, June's Journey. If you're interested, then you can download that game from the link down in our description. So go check out that game. It's free. People love free stuff. That's always good. You can't beat that. So we hope that you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.